Hello professionals, this is Adam and welcome to the Adam Lab. We will be testing a blender, so let's go ahead. My first project would be the red autumn. I believe the art style and the art approach with it is really amazing. And that's more information about it. And you can definitely go to Robin, a try an art station to see his art, but in general, amazing and that would be the project that we would be testing but before that let's get some things out of the way subscribe and hit the like button let's aim for 300 likes with this video and you can get your girlfriend grandma friend whomever to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as well with that being said i am recording the screen right now and the Mac is not connected to the external monitor above. This external monitor is connected to the M1 MacBook Air right here. Uh, plus, the machine that we are testing on is the 14-inch MacBook uh, Pro M1 Pro with 8-core CPU and 14-cores GPU plus 512 uh, SSD, the storage, and 16 gigabyte of RAM. And this is the base model that runs for $2,000. That's what we will be testing on. So first things first, I will go with some something very simple hit a space and see the playback holy bananas this is smooth the project is 100 frames just opened it this is the first time for me opening the project and it's working just fine and now this is a viewport the wireframe and with the wireframe you can move there is no issues with there as well and after that we would go to solid and with solids even faster you can move with no issues and you can zoom in and zoom out it works just fine with material preview there is a bit a very tiny lag but overall it works just fine as well and then lastly um, the rendered scene and here we have it you know what let's render the whole animation so we will render the whole animation the 100 frames and see how much that take so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna so three two one here we go so it's saying be rendered in eight minutes then jump to six minutes right now it's set five minutes so the total in order to render 100 frames for the red autumn forest would take around five minutes to be rendered yet i will wait till the very end and then we can go from there right and right now we are at 80 frames so we will wait until this get to the 100th frame then i will stop the timer and see how much time it would take keep in mind we are recording the screen and at the same time we are rendering and let me see let me take off my headphones and trying to hear if the fan is running at all the fan is not running at all even with we are at 14 frames right now you know what here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go crazy and i holy cow i can go to the browser i can search i have here many tabs open i have at least 30 tabs open and then i do have spotify in the background where i was listening to music while actually recording and everything and the main goal of that is to simulate a real work scenario because you're not working without listening to music and you're not working and just doing nothing i don't think that's really realistic yet when you are listening to music and when you are doing multiple stuff and you are having multiple browser tabs open at the same time usually that is the realistic let's say approach when it comes to work and right now we are at 22 frames and we are two minutes in Keep in mind, because I moved the time jump to from 5 minutes to 6 minutes, but still for a, such a scene, in order to be rendered only in 6 minutes is actually amazing. And the engine should be the EV engine as well and not anything else so we will wait for it till it finishes and then after that we can check on the other information and everything else so uh, let's wait and see and while we are waiting 
Let me know in the comments if there is anything else that you want me to test with the M1 Pro. Just leave it in the comments and I will do my best to accommodate for that. And then just do the whatever testing that is related to those um, programs. I do that because there is not a lot of people who knows how to do proper testing for a blender. Plus, there is not much, uh, let's say, information about the applications or the softwares that we actually use professionally. Most of the stuff that are there, it's just um, video editing and such. And nothing against video editing, but not everyone is doing YouTube and doing video editing. Most of the people, they are getting those machines to actually get a professional work done. So with that in mind... I would definitely just leave in the comment whatever that you want and tell me what is your favorite sandwich that you like to eat. I would like to know about that as well. And uh, with that, we are at a frame 38 and we are three minutes in and almost four minutes in and we are at the frame 39. So we will definitely wait and the fans has not kicked yet and the machine it's slightly kicked on the fans just slightly bit. like i can barely hear them literally the ambient knows that is around me is more than what the fans are kicking with this machine and it's just uh, it's cold it's not even warm And we are right now at 9 minutes and 13 seconds, so that's almost 10 minutes, and the frame 91, and the fans kink on. I can hear the fans. They are not loud, they are not anything that is a crazy, but I can hear um, the fans going on. Yet, if I wear my headphones, I wouldn't even hear them, and especially if you have noise-canceling headphones, you would not hear anything. And even this level of uh, let's say loudness if i was in a library it would not bother anyone else it's not like so much that it bothers other people and we are almost 10 minutes in keep in mind we are recording the screen and i will be honest with you i did the same test without recording the screen and it took only six minutes to finish it while with recording the screen it took literally 10 minutes and we are at 99 100 that's 10 minutes and 10 seconds to finish this render while recording the screen but without recording the screen that took around six minutes or just uh less than that and i will definitely be doing a test in the future where i will put the m1 pro versus the m1 and i have actually wrote a note about that and now since that is done what i would like to do is just take a look at sculpting so i do have two projects i do have a diva sculpt which is a personal project that i have um uh, copied and just modified a little bit and i am still working on and it's just something that i am practicing on and then there is um, uh, this is called which I have downloaded from the internet as well so here with this copying you have no issues at all you will be good to go doing whatever you need to do so if you want to view as you can see even though I am recording the screen there is no issues at all and you can just view whatever you need to do even if we go into let's say editing mode and then from editing mode we would just grab something and try to change it or whatever that may be and then grab something else and try to change it as well it would work no uh, with no issues at all and you will be good to go on that end and then we can just go back and as you can see with the sculpting you don't have any issues on that end what i would like to do is i would like to run the other project as well and that is the project that i have this project was built entirely with actually not ev just recently i changed it to ev it was built with cycles but even with cycles it's still working just fine and there is no issues with it 
um, as well. And I would not go under because <laughs> you know how it goes with um, uh, sculpting and the characters as well. This is just me practicing because I am trying to make um, a very nice picture for Diva from Overwatch because I really like the character. Let's open this 3D render right here. Wow, this is insane. Let's move with it. Yeah, you can move, no issues at all. And then that's the second model, and you can move, no issues at all. So if you are working with architecture, and you need to view your models or whatever that needs, or whatever that needs to be, you can do that, no issues at all. And I really like that. And even this is built on cycles, and it's not even built on EV as well. So that is good. Right now, what I will do is I will try the folks splash. This is beautiful piece of art. Is that a limited frames? I guess this is a limited of frames or it's just on a loop. I will change it to 50. So after changing that to 50, what I would like to do is to render the project. So I have set that and then we would render the animation to one here we go and it's only 50 frames so let's see how much that would take time wise we are getting to frame six and we are one minute in so it did finish in around nine minutes and 23 seconds and that's good taking into account we are recording the screen and all of that so that was actually good and that was decent overall and even reviewing the project everything is good so with that we are done with this one so this is the famous bmw scene at the very end with ev i have not tried because this video took right now i am recording over three hours and i really don't want to record any more than that and then when it comes to working with the project overall um everything is working with no issues and then if you go to the editing mode and then if you want to grab something or whatever that maybe all of that would work with no issues as well so you are good and the conclusion is if you are working with blender and you do have the base model you can definitely do blender with the base model since it's optimized for the m1 chip and it's optimized for the apple silicon to begin with yet the only recommendation as always is if you can get a higher ram that would be helpful and maybe a higher storage would be good as well for the base 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 model if you want it for a blender and you are working with blender this would work with no issues because if you are trying to work realistically on some sculpting or whatever that might be such as the project that i am working on you can move with no issues back and left and you can do whatever you need to do and then just change to ev and you will be good to go this is i wouldn't say a very bad experience and it's not even slow at all so you can do whatever you need to do when it comes to testing and such and then you will be good to go as well so that's something to keep in mind when it comes to working with real projects therefore the base model 14 inch is really good when it comes to blender so if you are a blender user you are definitely in for luck because this machine would work with you aside from that if there is any testing please let me know in the comments that you want me to do thank you for making it to the end if you did and aside from that i will see you professionals later Bye bye